Welcome to A Brit Reacts to Bollywood. Hello, I am your Brit reacting to Bollywood and I want to say to all of my friends in India and around the world, Namaste, Assalamu Alaikum and Sat Sri Akal Ji. And today I'm looking at a classic from the BBC Asian Network Top 100 Voted Bollywood Songs. And today's is classical. It's Chod do Anchal Zamana Kia Pahega from Paying Guest. Oh, look at that poster. What a cracker. It's very, almost Alfred Hitchcock style. It's 50s and it's quite an interesting form of art and form of relationship. We see a man and a woman and they're at odds. Quite simple, a classic conceit in storytelling. And we see that Paying Guest is a 1957 Bollywood film directed by Subod Mukherjee. It stars Devon And and Nutan along with Shubha Kot. Music by the classic S.D. Berman. An incompetent lawyer, Ramesh Devanand, keeps on getting evicted as a tenant due to failure to pay rent, then dons the guise of an old man to gain entry in a house as a tenant, falls for the landlord's daughter, Shanti, played by Nutan, whose best friend, Chanchal, Shubhakot, marries a famous barrister, Dial, for money, and who is of her father's age. After marriage, Chanchal becomes Shanti's neighbour. Dissatisfied with her marital life, Chanchal becomes jealous of Shanti and Ramesh's love, Shanti's elder sister, rake and ruffian husband Prakash threatens Shanti's father to send him money or else he would come to his house. Ramesh is unable to pay the house rent and Shanti gives him the money her father had given her for monthly expenditure. When Ramesh gives Shanti's father the money that Shanti had given him, he is ready to send it to his son-in-law as money so as to prevent him from coming to his home. Shanti dissuades him from doing so, saying that she will do the needful. However, since there is no spare money, she fails to send the money to her brother-in-law. In the meantime, time Prakash with his wife reaches Shanti's father's house and in an altercation Prakash pushes Shanti's father and since he was frail he subsequently dies. Shanti's elder sister also falls ill and Shanti gives her brother-in-law her gold bangles to get medicine but Prakash squanders the money on liquor. Ramesh has no income and Chanchal suggests to Shanti that she pick up a job. Shanti gets employed in a theatre. Meanwhile Chanchal tries to entice Ramesh and gets him a job under her husband Prakash for want of money. Allies with Chanchal and conspires to pull Ramesh and Shanti apart. Ramesh is made to drink by Chanchal during a party and after the party Dial sees a drunken Ramesh and Chanchal in his own house together and changes his will disowning Chanchal. Prakash, who surreptitiously enters their house, sees the rewriting of the will and steals the will. Dial accuses Chanchal of misdemeanor, but Chanchal somehow convinces him to take a break to a lakeside resort. Chanchal connives with Prakash to have Dial removed and drowns Dial in the lake. Prakash keeps blackmailing Chanchal over the will and Dial's murder and on one such occasion Shanti sees shadows of someone strangling Chanchal. She reaches Chanchal's place only to find Prakash roughing up Chanchal. On seeing Shanti, Prakash starts shooting her. Shanti runs to the outhouse of Chanchal's bungalow and disarms Prakash and threatens to shoot him. A shot is fired and Prakash is killed. Shanti confesses to the crime and is produced in front of the court on a charge of murdering Prakash. All top lawyers of the town refuse to take up her case. Finally, Ramesh becomes her lawyer. Will he be able to save his beloved from the gallows? Whoa! <laughs> I love these thrillers kind of slightly comic thrillers with a sort of anti-hero who isn't really a hero. He's more of a underdog and he has lots of flaws. He's not particularly successful at things until he enters this dynamic and this hero's journey and becomes a hero in spite of himself. And I think it's really cute. It reminds me of something like Some Like It Hot in Hollywood where you have two anti-heroes who have to dress up as women to reach their goal. So it's a similar concept and I think it's a really classic of that time. The song itself, Chod Do Ancha, let's take a look and get a sense of this world. <laughs> Classic India, ancient, beautiful and green. Oh wow. Comedy. Oh, 
Pure comedy. I love it. It's a sort of classic conservative conceit, you know, what will the world say? Stop touching my scarf. <laughs> wow, she's beautiful. <laughs> He's got such a cheeky face, Devon. <laughs> Mm. It's like an, such an innocent world. Oh. An older world. <laughs> I love that shot. <laughs> This is so sweet. Wow. It's such a gentle form of flirtation. Oh, I love it. It's so comic. I love this tune. Really nice visual storytelling. Nice use of the space and the set. It's so innocent, I love it. So beautiful. <laughs> What's so interesting about this is even though it's in black and white, even though it's low budget compared to what we might see now with so many craw spent on a film. It's just so vibrant. You can almost see the green of all that lush vegetation. Some of it was a set, some of it was outside, but you get that sense of an untouched, pure, Eden-like world, as we in the West might say. It's like Eden, it's a paradise. It's like a, a, an India of yesteryear. Obviously there are parks and huge forests in India, but it's just that older rural world that isn't quite so prominent now in Indian or world cinema. And I think it's such an innocent song and such a beautiful song. They fall in love, essentially, in, in the course of a song. You can see the difference with now. They're from a much more conservative society where even touching the scarf is enough to indicate passion. I think it's adorable. And I think it's so important to look at films like this and songs like this because it's what makes 
a culture, a country, a film industry. It can't all just be modern films. It has to be the culture, the bedrock of the filmmaking industry over generations that we're looking at. That's the way I want to see it. And I really appreciate songs like this. It's a really catchy tune, a really gentle song, and it's just really warm. It's a comforting song. If you've got any feedback or tips or inside information on this song, or Devon And, who sounds like a real character, and quite a comic character like Raj Kapoor, one of those actors who, very physical comedy, visual comedy, please let me know. And of course, every week I'll be looking at one modern and one classic song. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and tune in again. I'm your Brit, reacting to Bollywood, and I wish you safe travels and... Cheerio!